Correlation and regression page three. These problems are pretty much similar to page two, just gives you some more practice. Um, let's see, let's start out with number three. 14 students took, and these are IB exams in chemistry and ITGS, which is, I guess, some IB topic that we don't have. The results are shown in the following table. So there's their uh, percentages. And uh, for example, one of the pairs would be a 45 in chemistry and a 42 in ITGS. Okay, So we're, uh, I guess, going to show the relationship between, uh, hey, if you're good in chemistry, you're good in ITGS, and vice versa. Um, so first, we're going to plot the points, and we're going to describe the correlation like we did before. Then we're going to find the mean score for each test, which means we're going to find x bar and y bar. Then we're going to plot the mean point and draw the line of best fit by I. And then we're going to use the diagram to estimate the result when the chemistry score was 50%. Okay. So um, let's see. I think the hardest part of this is just like deciding how to divide up the graph. And uh, let's, uh, let's count. Let's divide up the graph. We'll have 0 to uh, 0, 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. This is for chemistry, which is, oh my god, that was terrible. Chemistry, which is the x-axis. And then we will do 0 to 100 for ITSG. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And this is for ITS or ITGS, ITGS, which is the y axis. Okay, and then uh, we're going to plot uh, some of these points here. So let's see, we're going to make these red too. So 45 comma 42 would be about there. Uh, 67 comma 76 would be about 67 comma 76 would be about there. Uh, 72 comma 59 70 72 comma 59 there um, 34 comma 44 34 comma 44 uh, 88 comma 76 88 comma 76 um, 91 comma 88 91 comma 88 uh, 56 comma 55, 56 comma 55, uh, 39 comma 45, 39 comma 45, um, 77 comma 69, 77 comma 69. And 59 comma 62, 59 comma 62. And 66 comma 58, 66 comma 58. And 82 comma 94, 82 comma 94. And 96 comma 58, 96 comma 50. 96 comma 58 and 42 comma 58 42 comma 58 okay um, now we are going to describe the correlation I would say it is positive positive and linear and uh, when you write this on the exam, write it out positive linear. I'm just abbreviating it because my writing is so messy with this pen stylus, even messier than usual. P 
positive linear, and I would say it's moderate or maybe weak. And as I said, later we're going to learn exactly how to say in precise mathematical terms what it is, but we're just eyeballing it for now. Um, and now we're going to plot the mean point. And remember, that to plot the mean point, we need to figure out the mean of x and the mean of y. And to do that, we need to put all these numbers into the calculator. I'm going to put these numbers into L5 and L6. So, first I'm going to put in 45, then 67, 45, 67, 72, right? And then the y's, I'm going to put... I'm going to put 42, 76, 42, 76, and you're not going to watch me do all of these. I'm just going to do the first few, and then you're going to do yours on your own, and I'm going to do mine on my own, and we'll meet back here in two seconds. So I've input all my numbers into L5 and L6, and I'm going to find my X bar and my Y bar with stat calc, two var stats. So I'm going to put L5 and L6 in for my list names instead of L3 and L4, which I used last time. And then I go down to calculate, I press enter, and let's find our X bar. X bar is 914, I'm sorry, 65, X bar is 65.2, 65 65.3 65 actually. Make sure you leave three significant figures. Y bar is 65.1. Now we're going to mark these here on the x-axis and y-axis. 65 is about there, 65.3, and then y bar is 65.1. Okay, and then we're going to plot the point 65. Point three comma sixty five point one. It's right there. And then I'm going to draw a line of best fit by eye. It's going to go through that brown point, and it's going to have approximately half the points above and half the points below. And you are going to do this with a ruler because you're doing it on paper, and I can't do that on this program. So that's not bad. Uh, last of all, it asks us to uh, use um, the uh, chemistry score of 50% to figure out what the ITGS score would be. So we're going to start with the chemistry score of 50%, that's chemistry, right? And then we go up to the brown line and we hit it and then we go left and see what we get for the ITGS score. Looks like it would be slightly above 50%, maybe 52%. Okay, so let's say that the ITGS score is going to be 52%, okay? And there are two other problems on this page which are similar to this. And I'm not going to do every step, but I will help you figure out how to divide up the uh, x-axis and y-axis because maybe that's the trickiest thing here. So like for the first one, let's see, we're ranging numbers from about 0 to 10. So I would just do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, right? And then the last, see, 4, 5, 6, 8, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? So this would be baby held, baby held, and then, uh, baby cried would be zero. Looks like it ranges from about zero to six, but I think we could do it by twos also. Five, six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and this would be baby cried. Okay. All right, and uh, so like for example, you would plot one, six. One, six would be uh, this point right there, for example. And then you just plot those points. And then you would do everything else the same. You would find the mean by putting it in the calculator. You would plot the mean point, draw the line of best fit, and find the uh, estimate for how many hours a baby cries if it is held for 3.5 hours. So then you would just take 3.5 mark, which is about here. And then you would 
go up and then see where it hits the line and find out how many hours that baby would cry. Okay. Last problem, the um, we range between about uh, 30 and 60 here. So um, let's see, we could put 30 and then uh, maybe 40 and then maybe 50 maybe 60 maybe we could count by maybe we count by fives so 30 40 really putting my middle-aged eyes to the test counting these squares 30 to 60 and then uh, for the y-axis, we're going to range between about 40, 400 to about 2,000. So that looks like maybe, so this if this is 400, then I think we're going to have to pretty much count by one. So 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be 1,500. 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900, 2000. Okay, and then this would be the size in inches, and this would be the cost in dollars. And then we're going to plot the points and do everything else, and then we're going to find the uh, use a diagram to calculate the cost of a 52 inch TV. So this is this would be like take like 52, which is about there, and then we'll figure out how much that would cost. Okay, so. Again, use your calculator, find X bar and Y bar, draw the line, and then you you um, do what we did here where you draw, you find the point on the X axis, you draw it up to the line, then you go over to the left to the Y axis. Okay, that's it for page 